She's a woman who really needs no introduction, but regardless, here I am introducing the legendary Celine Dion. Her successful singing career has spanned the decades, and if you've ever wondered where Celine lives, her mansions are just as impressive as you'd imagine. The Canadian Queen hails from Quebec, where she's also once lived in a castle-like mansion on its own island to boot. These days, because of her hit shows in Las Vegas, her sprawling main home is located there. We'll check out three of Celine's homes, which are all amazing in their own way. In these videos, we don't reveal any address and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Celine Marie Claudette Dion is a Canadian singer renowned for her powerful, technically skilled vocals and remains the best-selling Canadian recording artist to this day. She's also one of the best-selling artists of all time with record sales of over 200 million worldwide. The multi-platinum Celine has pumped out hit after hit from That's The Way It Is to Because You Loved Me and who could forget the title track from Titanic, My Heart Will Go On. There's no doubt that Celine was always destined for superstardom. Celine emerged as a teen star in her home Charlemagne, Quebec, and in Canada in the 80s first for her French language albums. When she learned to speak English, Celine signed on to Epic Records in the US, releasing her debut English album Unison in 1990. During the 1990s, her pop music and best-selling albums led her to worldwide fame. Celine has won five Grammys over the years and numerous other awards and accolades. Celine also built up her reputation as an amazing life performer former with A New Day on the Las Vegas Strip from 2003 to 2007, which was the highest grossing concert residency of all time. And more recently, her second residency at Caesars Palace in Vegas, titled Celine, went from 2011 up until last year and made her the top money earner in Vegas. With an estimated 70 performances per year and getting 500k per show, you guys can do the math. At the time of this recording, Celine's net worth is at an estimated $430 million, making her one of the richest singers in the world. And with that fortune, she's acquired an array of exclusive estates that are almost too good to be true. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you watching are subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're taking a look at where the legendary singer Celine Dion calls home from her Las Vegas estate to the one worth $28 million in Florida she just sold and more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. I'm gonna start by saying that this house we're looking at first is hands down my favorite of Celine's. Located near Laval, Quebec in the Canadian crooner's home and native land, she formerly called this castle like a state home and it was located on its own private island to boot, Ile Gagon. This mega mansion was custom built in 2001 for Celine and her late husband Rene from stone with a sleigh roof. It looks straight out of the Victorian era which might be why I love it so much and designed to resemble a French Norman chateau. The private island covers about 19 acres of land while inside the palace boasts over 24,000 square feet with six beds and nine baths. Not just anyone could visit Celine's home, visitors needed to pass through a gated bridge to access the fenced in island. This palatial estate had a gym sized entrance hall welcoming you, complete with soaring ceilings, towering pillars, marble floors, and a dramatic staircase that wraps around the room to a second floor gallery. In total, the mansion had four floors and numerous common rooms throughout. Among these was a large four formal living room with floor to ceiling windows, a dining hall with room for 18, a custom kitchen, and a wood paneled library. If I ever get to own a mansion like this, a wood paneled library is just a must. Other rooms included a family room with fireplaces, a sunroom, and an office with built in cabinets where I'll bet Celine displayed her many awards once upon a time. And I gotta say, I'm in love with that dining room. It looks straight out of the medieval era. It's amazing. Celine's former master suite here was more like a complex, and oddly enough, had his and hers master suites, which were connected but completely separate, each with their own bathrooms, walk-ins, and Juliet balconies. Celine's lady suite had a gorgeous canopy bed and looked as royal as they come. Other floors of the mansion included a two-bedroom children's wing with a separate den, a guest suite, as well as a fitness facility. Down in the basement, there's a charming wood panel games room with built-in bar and stone vaulted wine cellar with tasting room. Of course, an elevator is also present in the mega home 
for easy access. Terraces and balconies extend off all sides of the multi-wing mansion, overlooking the water views and natural forested environment. Set well away from the main palace, there's an in-ground swimming pool with a nearby pool house with kitchen and grill. Despite how jaw-dropping this castle was, Celine sold it for around $29 million back in 2012, because I'm sure with all her Vegas shows, she wasn't getting to spend enough time here. In 2017, Celine also reportedly sold another mega mansion, but this time, it was in the Sunshine State. The Bahamian-inspired mammoth home was on Jupiter Island, Florida, and built once again by Celine and her late husband in 2010. They spent just over $7 million in 2008 on the 5.7 acre property itself, and proceeded to build a space that resembles a luxury resort rather than a family home. Inside, there's an open floor plan with ample space in every room, and the mansion spans nearly 19,000 square feet, with 13 beds and 14 baths throughout. Marketing materials say there are five additional pavilions aside from the main home, one of them being a guest house that sleeps more than eight guests. The indoor-outdoor vibe in the mansion is perfect for a location like Jupiter Island, so you always get the sun and ocean breeze. There is an airy living room with white walls and a beachy vibe, as well as a dining room with vaulted ceilings and glass sliders out to the pool. Celine's former sleeping quarters had it all, with a TV that dropped from the ceiling and an attached bath with glam mirrored vanity. Not to mention there was a dressing room separate walk-in closet with automated racks and two ocean view verandas, one with a fireplace and one with a hot tub. When it comes to amenities, Celine knows how to crank the luxury level to 100. Her Florida home boasted a full tennis court, tennis house, stimulated golf range, a pool house with kitchen and grill, and in the beach house there was a loft and a massage room. I didn't even tell you the best part, this mansion had its own water park. Yes, there were three pools at this home, one at the back near the ocean and two connecting pools near the front of the home. These are part of her private water park, which encompassed a lazy river, water cannons, spiral slide, and a tree house. A mansion with its own lazy river that sounds like a dream come true. Celine's Florida Paradise ended up selling for $28 million, and while you may wonder why she'd ever want to give this place up, it's reportedly where her husband Rene fell ill and spent his final years of life. I'd assume she'd move on because she couldn't see herself living at this oasis without him. Before we end this house tour, let's check out where Celine currently lives in Las Vegas. Unlike the previous two properties, we don't know much about the interior, but if those places are anything to go by, you know Celine only likes the best of the best. She and her late husband husband purchased a 1.5 acre mansion in Henderson, Nevada back in 2003. Celine has been a long time staple of Sin City, with her record breaking residency running for 16 years, so it makes sense she decided to move there for good. They bought this mansion a few months after the opening of her concert series A New Day, and completely renovated the property shortly after moving in. The state sits on over an acre of land inside spanning over 8,100 square feet with 4 beds, 6 baths, and 3 fireplaces, while the detached guest house is 2,000 square feet with 1 bed and one bath. As expected, a basketball court and a big outdoor pool can be seen from aerial photos too, and while there's no water park, it still looks lavish. Celine has spent the pandemic months at her Vegas abode with her three sons, and has shared glimpses inside the home thanks to Instagram. In her video where she assures fans she's with them and thanks to frontline workers, Celine also shows her glamorous kitchen in the background with white shelves and appliances. While her Vegas home is already nice, she reportedly started constructing a new family home in 20. 2018 in the affluent Summerlin neighborhood of Las Vegas, apparently to be closer to her son's activities and errands. Last we checked, the multi-million dollar project was still in development, but the home is set to feature 8 beds, an underground garage with room for 20 cars, and a separate living area on the property for Celine's mom, Therese. So now we've taken a look at the impressive mansions of Celine Dion, and really they're just as fabulous as I would expect from her. After seeing those two former mansions she called home in Quebec and Florida, and what we know about her Las Vegas home, what did you think? The Quebec Castle is hands down my favorite because I love the Victorian and historic vibes inside. But the water park at the Florida Mansion gives it a run for its money. The Quebec Estate had a lazy river, then it would be the dream home of all dream homes. Be sure to rate Celine's gorgeous homes in the comments and tell me which of the three was your absolute fave. One thing's for sure, the woman has quite the taste for luxury amenities. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to my personal channel where I post a new video every Sunday. Leave me a comment on my latest vid and we can chat there. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tour you guys want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!